Hi kids, so I hope you all are okay. So this video is for class 10 student. In my previous video on physics, we solved numericals from calorimetry, consigns physics, exercise 11a. You can see the link in the description box. In today's video, we will solve numericals from exercise 11b, calorimetry, consigns physics. Let us look at the first one. 10 gram of ice at 0 degree centigrade absorbs 5460 joule of heat energy to melt and change to water. It changes to water at 50 degree centigrade. And in doing so, it absorbs 5460 joule of energy, heat energy. Calculate the specific latent heat of fusion of ice, L of ice, given the specific heat capacity of water, C of water is 4200 joule per kg per Kelvin. Now look over here. This change which is happening, ice at 0 degree changes to water at 50 degree centigrade, that does not happen in one step. First thing, ice at 0 degree will change to water at 0 degree, yes or no? There will be a change of state. Suppose Q1 is the heat and then water at 0 degree centigrade again absorbs heat and changes to water at 50 degree centigrade. Yes or no? Now, just look over here. For, for this conversion, I said 0 degree to water at 0 degree, there is a change of state which means heat Q1 is equal to M into L. Yes or no? So Q1 M is what? Mass of ice, mass of ice, that's 10 by 1000 in kg into L. Done. That is Q1. L we don't know. L of ice, we are supposed to find. Now for this step, if you look carefully, for this step, what happened? There is a rise in temperature, which means Q2 will be Mc into del T. Yes or no? What is the mass? Mass of water and mass of ice will be same too. So this is 10 by 1000. What is C? Specific heat capacity of water is 4200. And what is change in temperature? 50 minus 0. That's 50. Yes or no? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So 0, 5, 2 is a 10. 5, 4 is a 20. 21 joule. 2100 joule. Now we know the total heat though. So the total heat, don't you think, will be equal to Q1 plus Q2 will be equal to 10 by 1000 into L plus 2100. That will be the total heat only. Q1 plus Q2 is the total heat. And total heat is given. 5460. Simplified. So this comes on this side. 5460 minus 2100 is equal to L by 100. Yes or no? So when we subtract it, 0, 6, 3, 3 is equal to L by 100. So L is how much? 3, 3, 6, 0 into 100. Yes or no? Yeah. This is my latent heat of Joule per kg. Let me see what they have given the answer. Just a second. They have given the answer as... 336 joule per gram. That's okay. We, we got it. 336000 joule per kg. Change it to per gram. So that's 336. You will divide by 1000. Joule per gram. Correct. Too. Done. Chal. We'll do number 2 now. We'll look at number 2. How much heat energy is released when 5 gram of water at 20 degree centigrade changes into ice at 0 degree centigrade? Water at 20 degree centigrade changes to ice at 0 degree centigrade. Yes or no? How much heat energy is released? Of course, heat energy will be released, released when 5 gram, the mass of water is 5.0 gram. Take specific heat capacity of water, C of water as 4.2 joule per gram per Kelvin and specific latent heat of fusion of ice, L of ice is 336 joule per gram. Again, 
This change does not happen in one step. First thing what happened, first eyes, uh, sorry, first water at 20 will definitely change to water at 0, Q1 heat, which is Mc into del T. There is a change in temperature too. And then water at 0 changes to ice at 0. Over here Q2 heat will be M into L. Simple. Yes or no? And total heat will be what? Q1 plus Q2. Mc del T plus ML. Substitute the value. Mass is what? Mass is 5. C is what? 4.2. Change in temperature? 20 minus 0 is 20. So that is MCT. Q1 plus ML. M is what? Again 5. L is what? 336. Done. Simplified. This uh, point goes 10 comes over here. This is this. 5 to the 10. This is 420 plus 5 6 the 30. 5 3 the 15, 16, 17, 18. 5 3 the 15, 16. That's how much? That's 2100 Joule. Yeah, this much of energy will be released. When water at 20 degree changes to ice at 0 degree centigrade. Remember, there will be two steps. Let me check the answer. 2100 Joule. That's correct. Now let us see number 3. Number 3. A molten metal of mass 150 gram is kept at its melting point 800 degree centigrade. Which means there is a metal. Try to understand this sum. Whose mass is how much? 150 gram and the temperature at which it is kept is 800 degree centigrade and it is the melting point. At this point it melts. Okay. When it is allowed to freeze at the same temperature, it is allowed to freeze at the same temperature. Temperature does not change. Okay. At same temperature. At same temperature. That is the melting point, 800 degrees centigrade. When it is allowed to freeze at the same temperature, it gives out. It gives out. How much heat? 75000 Joule. They have given. It gives out 75000 Joule of heat energy. Done. First part. There are two parts. First part. What is the specific latent heat of the metal? A look over here. There is a change of state. So heat will be M multiplied by L. Latent heat. Q is what? 75000. M is what? 150 into L. So L is what? 75000. 0, 0, 0. Pi 150. 0, 0 cancels out. 5 is This is 500 Joule per gram. Is it? Gram or kg? Gram. Per gram. Yes or no? 500 Joule per gram. Yeah. Done. The first part is done. Now the second part. If the specific heat capacity of metal is 200 Joule per kg per Kelvin, C of metal is given as 200 Joule per kg per Kelvin. Try to understand how much additional heat energy will be will the metal give out in cooling to minus 50 degree centigrade we are changing its temperature to minus 15 degree centigrade then how much additional heat will be will the metal give out how much heat is given out q2 suppose suppose now at this point from here to here you know it freezes at the same temperature and then the temperature is changed to minus 50. In this case Q2 is a change in temperature. Mc into del T remember what is the mass? Mass is 150 gram. C is given in per kg. So I will change it to 150 by 1000 kg. C is how much? 200 and change in temperature is how much? This is 800 degree, isn't it? 
and this is minus 15 minus 15 or 50 50 sorry i wrote it wrong this will be minus 50 degree centigrade so change in temperature is final minus initial which is minus 50 minus 800 which is minus 850 will take positive value a change in temperature is simple to 800 many times we do final minus initial over here i do initial minus the final because change is what the bigger minus the smaller okay now this is 850 so 850 now 1 2 3 1 2 3 now 215 is a 30 into 850 double zero 35 is a 15 24 25 this is 25500 joule this much of heat energy will be released let us see yeah 25500 joule of heat energy done this was easy in the first case it was ml we got l in the second case it was mct del t chalo we'll do number four now we'll look at number four a solid metal of mass 150 gram melts at its melting point of 800 degrees centigrade it melts at what temperature 800 degrees centigrade melts from solid to liquid state from solid to liquid state and the temperature was 800 degrees centigrade okay by providing heat at a rate of 100 watt which means power was 100 watt the time taken for it to completely melt the time taken time taken is 4 minute 4 into 60 second 4 minute converted to second what is the specific latent heat of fusion of the metal which means they are asking L, letter heat of latent heat of fusion of the metal. Very easy. What will be heat over here? M L changes the temperature, uh, changes the state. When there's a change in state, we use ML. When there's a change in temperature, we use MC del T. Change of state, it melts. Power is what? Q by time. Then substitute the value. P is how much? 100 Q is what? M C hey, sorry. M into L T is what? 4 into 60. Yes or no? What is M? 150 gram. So in kg we divide by 1000. So 100 equals to 150 5000 into 4 into 60 into L. So L in one step. This goes up, this comes down. 100 into Thousand into four into sixteen by one fifty zero zero cancels of fifteen ones are fifteen fours are four fours are sixteen one two three four zeros a two three char joule per kg yes or no that is my latent heat of fusion let me check what they've given the answer. 1.6 into 10 to the power 5 joule per kg. Yeah, that's correct. They have written it as 1.6 into 10 to the power 5 joule per kg. That is your answer. Very easy. Q equals to ml. Power equals to Q by time. Use it, you'll get L. Step by step. Okay. Chalo. Because there was a change of state over here. When there's a change of state, Q, heat, energy required for the change of state will be ml. Mass into latent heat. So here, yeah. chalo. We'll do number five now. Now look at some number five. A refrigerator converts hundred gram of water, hundred gram of water at twenty degrees centigrade to ice. It changes to ice at minus ten degrees centigrade. In time is given. 73.5 minutes okay what is the where is it yeah calculate the average rate of heat extraction in what they need the power average heat extraction okay in what the specific heat capacity of water c of water is 4.2 joule per gram per kelvin be careful with the unit Specific latent heat of ice, L of ice, 
336 जूल पर ग्राम एंड स्पेसिफिक लेटेंट स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ आइस सी ऑफ आइस इज 2.1 जूल पर ग्राम पर केल्विन नाउ लुक वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट हीट एंड हीट बाय टाइम विल गिव अस पावर सो जस्ट कैलकुलेट द हीट सी दिस हैपेंस इन हाउ मेनी स्टेप्स वाटर एट 20 चेंजेस टू आइस आई चेंजेस टू वाटर एट 0 फर्स्ट यस और नो देयर विल बी चेंज ऑफ टेंपरेचर नाउ द चेंज ऑफ स्टेट दिस चेंजेस टू आइस एट 0 देन द चेंज ऑफ टेंपरेचर दिस चेंजेस टू आइस एट माइनस 10 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दिस इज द चेंज वन स्टेप टू स्टेप थ्री स्टेप दिस इज नॉट इन वन स्टेप थ्री स्टेप over here q1 suppose over here q2 suppose over here q3 suppose now q1 there's a change in temperature mc into del t substitute the value mass mass is how much 100 and c is how much 4.2 now you say sir why don't you change it to kg because c is given per gram so 4.2 change in temperature 20 minus 0 20 done Point vanishes. Ten comes down. This, this. Two to the four. Two to the eight. Eight four zero zero joule. This much of energy. Q two. Change of state. M L. Yes or no? Now. So M is what? Hundred. Latent heat of ice is three three six. Three three six. So it will be three three six zero zero joule. Done. Q3 again change in temperature M C del T mass is what 100 specific heat capacity of ice 2.1 change in temperature 0 to minus 10 which means 10 change okay so that's 2100 joule so total energy is Q1 Plus Q two plus Q three. Yes. Four four one zero zero joule. What is power? Power is Q by time. Q is how much? Four four one zero zero. And time is what? This is in minute. So second, what will happen? Seventy three point five into sixty. Yes or no? Just solve it. So this is four four one zero zero. This when you multiply zero goes away. Six times the thirty one forty four 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 one zero, which means P will be ten watt. This much of power. Let me see what they've given. The answer ten watt. Yeah. The average rate of heat extraction will be ten watt. That is the power only. They are asking the power. Try to understand. Done. Very easy. Q one, Q two, Q three. Then power equals to Q, uh, Q by time. Q is what? The sum of the heat. Q one plus Q two plus Q three. Done. Chal. In this video, we'll keep it till here. In the next video, we'll see the rest of the sum. Till then, take care and be safe. And if you like the video. do subscribe and share it with your friends